Hello, happy Monday. Happy Monday. How's it going? Lene here with Linnea's Cozy Crafts. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you are all here. Every single one of you. How was your weekend? Mine was good. Ours was good. Jerry, oh yeah. So, I'll tell you what we did. And of course, I want to know what you did on your weekends, whether it's boring, fun, whatever. It might be boring to you, but it might be fun for us. You never know. So, um, Friday evening, we went out for dinner like we usually do. Where do we go? Oh, we went to the Cedars here in Ferndale. And then we just came home after that. We didn't do anything. And then Saturday, we went just for a light, light dinner. And we went out and visited friends out on Birch Bay. We talked to them frequently via messenger um, and texting, but we hadn't seen them for a few months. So we went out and actually had a in-person visit, which was really nice. We were there about uh, a couple hours, maybe two and a half. And then we came home, went to bed, and yesterday got up at a decent time, believe it or not even with the time change. And um, I started working on the test knit color work towel that I'm doing for Rachi Knits, which I cannot show you, but it is almost finished. I got all the color work chart uh, repeats done to where I wanted them, which she gave us an option. And so I did two and a half repeats. And then, um, and then I ended it. And then now I'm on the band, top band, which I've got a, a little bit on that done. Not much, but that'll be easily finished today. And then I'm going to reward myself just for a little bit of starting the stitch along that I'm in with Joe Kramer of Joe's Country Junction. So finally, that's my goal. And that's my reward. So today, I want to talk to you about Wren Bird Men's. And I will put the link to her website in the description box below. It is Wearable Visible Mending. She uses the Japanese uh, technique of Sashiko. It's beautiful. And you can use it for socks, you can use it for jeans, you can use it for overalls, you can use it for shirts. I think it's fabulous. I never thought of it. I never, well, I, I've heard of Sashiko and I know what mending is and I've done my brochure mending, but this makes mending so much fun. So I subscribe to her newsletter. I am following her on Instagram. And yes, I'm back on Instagram and things are so much fun better over there now. One, my mindset is much different. The only reason I joined it was because my son <clears throat> made me. Yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> now my granddaughter was on, or is on there, so or one of them, and she's like, Grandma, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. She was actually the clincher to it. But um, anyway, that's where I learned about Renbird men's and Renbird arts it's her website like i said i'll put it down in the description box and it is just such a cool concept i love it and let's see what else now there was something else i wanted to talk about oh yes diane thurman i love you more <laughs> i win um she brought up a, a suggestion for the, um, I gotta see you guys, I can't see that far away. Um, she brought up a suggestion for the uh, boat for the next section on my diamond paintings. And um, there was a little bit of a misunderstanding on her part, I believe. You're not supposed to vote for the most popular. It's that I choose the number that has the most votes, meaning that's the most popular section. So I think there was a little bit of misunderstanding there, but I have changed the, um, the choose my section, which is now you 
you both, you put your name in and the section that you want and where you live, please, and thank you. Um, and then I am my random name picker on my phone is going to pick a name. And whatever name it picks with the section, that's the next section. Because y'all have been going sequentially, and that's really not the point of this. I can do that on my own. I'm not picking on you. I'm not mad. I'm not anything. I'm just saying the purpose of this choose my next section is to go literally randomly around. The reason I have you do it is because I can never decide where I want to go. And plus it makes it a nice little contest for everybody. And then there's a giveaway at the end, right? So you put your name in, you say, I want, um, say, I want section three, right? Like, I think that was the one that Diane wanted. And, um, so then you say, I, I want section three. And then you say, I, I'm in or from wherever you're from. I just need to know if you're international or United States. You can just put USA. If you're not in the USA, please do not put that you're from the USA. Yeah, I've already had that happen. Didn't really appreciate it much. And as a result, they did not get a prize because they were, I, I look at it that they were scamming. And they really, I, I think I'm convinced that, well, clearly they knew what they were doing. And I'm pretty sure that they thought that I would follow through with a prize for them anyway, regardless, um, because they've had that same, I've watched this person and they have done the same thing in other channels. You know what, content creators, I'm here to encourage you, don't play with people like that. It's another form of scamming. It doesn't do them any good. Well, yeah, it does them good, but it certainly doesn't do us any good as, as content creators. And actually, it just reinforces the scam mentality, and I'm not doing it. So, they did not get a prize. Oh, well, then tell the truth of where you live. <sighs> okay, so anyway, um, and I have talked to other content creators about this, and we've all come into agreement that we're not going to reinforce or encourage this kind of behavior. So, anyways, um, so that put your residence in, um, if you're in California, you can just say I live in California. I'm, I don't care. I just need to know that you're in the States or outside the U.S. Thank you. And at the end, when this is ever finished all the way, we will have a drawing and uh, one lucky person in the United States of America will receive a diamond painting kit from me, USA only, so sorry. If you are outside the U.S. and I can access your Amazon for, you know, to give you an e-gift card, then you will get a $10 Amazon e-gift card in your country's funds. Okay, so there we go. That's how it works. This one's going to take me a bit. It is definitely taking me a bit. All right, let's see. What else is there? So I think I covered that pretty good. Um, 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 um. It seemed like there was something else I was going to talk about. Now I don't remember what it was. So, I will go for now. I will remind you that I love each and every single one of you. I hope you find your happy. I hope you find your joy. And remember, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mwah! Ciao for now. Mwah!